Good morning, everyone. Um, I came out early this morning onto the estate, Castle Howard estate, um, because I heard that the curlews were back um, in their usual place. Um, and it is heart lifting to come and hear them and see them. But also, I'm I'm wary of celebrating it too much um, because it's just one pair and they come every year and the place where they try to nest is well looked after um, but it's popular, it's visited um, and I don't think that they succeed um, every year if at all, I don't know how long it is since they've successfully fledged a family. Um, and there is a false reassurance in being able to still hear these birds. Similarly, you know, the gamekeeper here, Clive, who's a great, great guy, um, was asked recently um, what species would he have back here if he could. Um, and he said, well, to be honest, we've still got the ones that I remember. We've still got skylarks and lapwings and curlew, um, which is great, but I think there is a real danger of complacency in that, um, certainly with the curlew, because the fact that they're just attempting to breed every year doesn't mean that they are being successful. Um, and there are so few. Um, the fact that you can still hear that beautiful song um, is masking something, you know, it's just the one pair and they may not be being successful when there should be a dozen. Um, and one year in the not too distant future it could be that they don't come back. and then it will be too late. So we should be panicking for them now, rather than just rejoicing in their presence.